What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another pair of custom boots for you, but they're not custom fit, they're custom design. All right fam, so for those of you who don't know, on Instagram there is a guy, uh, Pete Zhang, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, um, and it's P-E-T-E-Z-H-E-N-G dot art. And it, he does these incredible, incredible remake paint jobs on current football boots. So a lot of the stuff that you might have seen is on the Speed Flow and the X Ghosted Plus. He does these crazy remake paint jobs. Um, in the case that I did, I contacted him and I said, hey, can you do, here, I'll show you guys his card while I'm talking to you. There you go. So Pete Zhang. Um, again, apologies for the pronunciation if I'm getting your last name wrong. Um, so the way that this works is I contacted him and I said, hey, is there any chance you could do the 2012 Euro Pack T90 with the white and the green? Could you do that on a pair of Phantom GTs? He said, of course, that's easy. So I have today a pair of custom painted Phantom GTs in a size 9 US with the world or excuse me the Euro Cup pack that I actually wore way back when when I used to play club soccer back in 2012 that would have been I would have been 16 15 or 16 years old and I had those T90s they were so comfortable one of my favorite pairs of boots of all time but they ripped really quickly and I couldn't find the white with the green again so I'm so excited to actually have these again in my collection I probably will never wear them because they are a piece of art. They are beautifully painted. Uh, I've seen photos of them. I haven't actually opened the case yet, but we'll go from there. So they come uh, because they're mailed from China and that's where he does all of his work. So they just come in the Phantom GT. He, he doesn't send the box. He just sends the uh, string bag. And this is painted on top of the volt yellow and blue colorway of the phantom gt1 so this is a very standard phantom gt there's nothing special about the actual boots themselves it's all about the paint job so i won't actually be doing a field test with these so just disclaimer right now you won't see these on feet on the actual pitch you'll see them or, may, or maybe i'll do like I'll stand in them on the pitch, but I really am trying to make these as clean as possible. I do not want to take them out. Um, these are going to be a piece of art. That's it. That's what they are meant for. Um, I, these are so special. I might actually order another pair that I'll play in that are another remake, maybe an X Speed Flow Plus or something like that, which I'll figure out later. But without further ado, let's get these opened. So they come in the, there you go, so like that. Again, string bag, very standard Phantom GT, nothing special about that, that's not the point. The whole point is to look at how crazy these boots are. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so if you recognize this 2012 Euro Pack and They've got a very special customization in them. Be awesome in my brand colors. So, so cool. So that's what they look like from the top, the shot shield or whatever that was called back then uh, with the very special design here. And then of course you have to have the color code, so zero red, 255 green, and 50 blue. Oh my goodness, okay. So we'll get the other one, and we'll get this paper out of the way. So that's what they look like. And then I got NC17, which is my favorite number. You've got Kangalite, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Kangalite there. So anyway, there you go and then we'll throw this right there. Okay, I'm genuinely blown away. These are absolutely stunning football boots. 
So they're a little bit heavier because they do have paint on them. Um, and this is, these are definitely wearable. So I can absolutely wear these in a normal match if I wanted to. They might get a little bit scuffed up here and there, but it is what it is. Um, he doesn't paint sole plates. So they, that's the reason he went with the electric green with the blue is that because of the sole plate color, it actually does look pretty similar to the color in the back of this particular model, which was again, the 2012 Euro pack. The detail that you get, holy cow. Okay, so the detail in this paint job is just insane. And what I'll do is, as I'm speaking about why these boots, why I wanted to do this and why these boots are so cool, I'll get a ton of B-roll shots for you guys of what these boots actually look like. Um, up close and you get a ton of different details while I'm talking about these. And between the Kanga light on the back, he, he literally got these as close as possible without having the technology in the actual boot itself. So all the stitching, all the colors, the placement of the swoosh, the, the be awesome on the inside where I would normally have uh, a, a custom ID on the inside, the, the RGB code on the bottom like the original pack did. Everything about this color is so stunning. They are, I, I am genuinely speechless. This is one of the coolest concepts I think I've ever seen. And Pete does this awesome stuff where he takes any, he can do custom artwork, so he can do, not cartoon I guess, but like realistic, paintings of stuff on your boots, or he can do stuff like this. His specialty, I think, is, is artwork like this where he puts old boot colors and design on new boots. So again, as you guys can tell from the sole plate, it is a Phantom GT1. It's got the same tech. It's, it's literally just a standard Phantom GT1, except it has this beautiful color. And I wanted to review these not only because I think the concept of these is so cool and it's such a beautiful looking boot, but I, it is an homage to a pair of boots that I adored and wore for an entire summer when I was playing youth soccer back in Seattle. So I played, there's pictures that I have, I don't know where they are now, but I've got pictures of uh, using these, this ac the actual T90 pair. I think they were T90 Laser 3s, I wanna say. I'll have to look up the specific number, but they were, again, some of my favorite boots on the market. They are so comfortable. They had this awesome, soft, almost leather-like forefoot, and the design and the width were just perfect for my foot, and I scored some goals in them. They have a ton of nostalgia for me, and I think the way that he's managed to put all the details of those boots on a pair of Phantom GTs and make made them look exactly like what that uh, what that boot looked like back then is unbelievable. I mean, it really is amazing what he's done here. And I just think these are so cool. I am, they are an art piece, so that is why I'm being very careful with what I decide to do with them. I don't really want them to be boots that I wear full time. The GTs aren't really my favorite boots as far as fit, um, but it made sense to put this design on the GTs because the GT is sort of the you know, second or third generation after the T90. And you can see all of the details of this boot. They really are just unbelievable. I mean, everything about this boot is exactly like what those what those T90s were back then. The inside of the boot, so everything inside here, I'm not gonna really go over because it is just uh, the, the GT. It's the, the turquoise and the Volt green on the inside. It's a, it's a GT inside, but the outside is just painted so beautifully and, it, and it, the details of it are just, stuck. like every little meticulous detail you can see in the way that the stitching is here. So the stitching is so meticulously done. This shot shield, whatever this was called back then, is so meticulous. Obviously, that's not raised in plastic like it, the actual technology, but, it's, but it looks exactly like what it did when it was on the boot. Um, and, and then the Be Awesome, and of course, the Kanga light right there that you can see, the detailing in this, the stitching in the back uh, there. Everything is just so meticulously done. So... 
huge thanks to Pete Zhang for getting these done. It was a long process, so these I think took about two months from when I first messaged him and we first had the initial conversation about what kind of boots I wanted. Uh, we went through a couple different design ideas about which actually which boots I wanted to put on the Phantom GTs. We went through a couple different ideas of you know things that he could get his hands on, things that were available, and we settled on this one uh, because this was the most realistic he could get with the, the Phantom GT, and it's a boot that I could definitely throw on and wear if I needed to, um, but these are definitely going to stay in the collection as an art piece because they are so stunning. They have the Be Awesome and the NC-17 on the other boot, and I do think these are such a special model. So I'll show you kind of how I went about messaging him um, over here in, in this space. We'll look at the, the Instagram feed and kind of what it looks like, some of the pieces that he's done, which I think are super cool. And then of course, um, what I'll do is I'll get these on feet in my living room and then I'm still undecided as of right now whether I'm actually gonna put them on the pitch. I don't think I'm going to, so we might just cut the video short after the on feet portion in my living room. I just, these are boots that I really wanna keep perfectly clean because this to me is an art piece and I really wanna keep these as pristine as possible, especially given how much energy and effort went into painting these and I will be putting lots of media posts about these up as well. So very, very cool concept, uh, incredible, incredible execution for what he's been able to put on these and the art piece that is this boot and we'll go from there. So let's hop into the on feet portion of the video. You guys can see what they look like on feet. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the photo, any of the old photos of me actually in the real version of these boots, but I'll put a couple photos up of, uh, of people wearing this actual, players actually wearing the, the T90 variant of this colorway, and I think they just look spectacular. So we'll get into the on-feet portion of the video and we'll talk a little bit more about why I think doing something like this could create really unique experiences for you guys who are younger, who didn't get a chance to actually have these or wear this this particular model, um, but can but fit in a Phantom GT, and you can get the same experience, but with uh, a unique color that no one else is going to have. All right, fam. So I've got these brilliant pieces of art. In my hands, I'm about to try them on. As I said before, this is gonna be the last portion of the video. We'll get lots of B-roll footage of these boots because they are very special. I want you guys to be able to see all the insane details that come with this particular uh, paint job that's on here. But I did wanna try them on just to show you what they look like on feet. Um, I am wearing an entire outfit from Zypher. I absolutely love their stuff. 10% off in the description box below if you want for their grip socks or their non-grip socks, which I am wearing right here. So let's get straight into the on-feet portion. Again, these are gonna fit exactly like a normal pair of Phantom GTs. They're gonna be no different. They're just gonna look insanely special. So, oh, these are tight, holy cow. Okay, so I don't know if it's the paint or something, but they definitely feel a little bit stiffer than a normal pair of Phantom GTs. That's probably to be expected because of the paint job. Um, that would be my guess, but we'll get these laced up and it is so crazy how they look because that is exactly how those green and white boots look when I had them back in 2012 uh, or 2013, whichever. Um, I can't remember actually which which year I had them. That's a that's an interesting question, actually. Um, okay, but ooh, there we go. Okay, so as far as fit and feel, um, the GTs, I'll give you guys a quick rundown. The GTs are pretty straightforward. Uh, definitely something, uh, they're, a, they're a very basic football boot. It's just a fly knit upper with the sole plate and they've got no really lateral, there's nothing on the lateral side or the medial side that kind of holds your foot in. It's mostly just the lacing system that ties that boot all together. They run about a quarter size long. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of space in my toe, but again, that's not really the point of these boots. The point of these boots is that they look exactly like the 2012 
T90 laser twos or laser threes, whichever model these are, but oh my goodness, these are so cool. And uh, there you go on feet. The Be Awesome on one side, NC17 on the other. Such an incredible detail. And uh, we'll do a little spin for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. But I'll probably do just some B-roll and music on these because I don't actually want to wear these a ton because they are so special, they are so unique, and I don't know if I'll be wearing these properly at all. Um, we'll see if I decide to put these on for a training session. Maybe with the next pro team I sign with, that'll be the, the move. But for now, I'm definitely going to keep these pretty pretty clean up in my closet just because they are so unique and so special. So we're going to end the video there. I'm going to do an extended B-roll with some music and some really good close-up shots of these boots to get you guys all the details. If you guys are interested in custom painted football boots, do keep in mind they are an art piece. So they are much more expensive than normal boots because you have to buy the boots or you have to pay him to get the boots and get them painted. And I need you guys to not go and start DMing him about how expensive they are. Um, they are expensive, but that's because you get the most exquisite, they, they are a piece of art. It's what he, it's like if you get a piece of uh, wall art, right? It's super expensive. Um, these are just an absolutely beautiful piece. And I think they are fantastic for anybody who wants the fit and feel of a modern football boot, but with the colorway of an old Predator, or in this case, the T90s, um, which are awesome. So that's it for my end of the video. I'll see you guys uh, very soon for more boot reviews. And of course, these are just a beautiful pair. So definitely go follow Pete Zhang on Instagram. I'll have all his details down in the description box below. Plus you'll see all the pop-ups and stuff for his IG. Go follow him, and then if you do decide to purchase from him, just tell him that I sent you, and uh, that will, will make everyone excited and happy. Art piece, beautiful, 10 out of 10 football boots. Uh, I love how these look. They look insane. The GT is a fairly comfortable fitting football boot, so no issues there. Uh, and the only reason that I would suffer through wear, not suffer, but I would all uh, I would wear these GTs is because of what they are and the color that they are. So that's my, that's my thoughts. Um, thank you so much for tuning in guys. Hit that like button. If you like content like this with the really unique custom football boots, um, I can definitely try to get some more on the channel with different colors, but also for uh, different stuff like the Emotana boots and things like that, where they're really unique and not a lot of people actually own them. Or these are, these are literally one of one. There are none other like this on the market, especially with the NC-17 and the Be Awesome. It's, uh, it's pretty special. So these are a one of one football boot. I'm so excited. So as always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.